Welcome to Project Deployment, a module of the Wavelink eLearning training course on Velocity and specifically the Velocity Console. Each time you want to move to the next slide, click anywhere on the slide to continue or click the forward arrow shown here. The project is defined as the configuration of a host profile for a smart device. This module will discuss how to use the Velocity Project menu to import a project, export a project, build a project deployment package, and finally, how to deploy the package down to the smart device. The first three options of the Velocity Project menu allow you to manipulate projects that have been created, designed, and saved. You can import and export an entire project or parts of it from the Velocity console and integrate them into other projects as needed. You can deploy projects down to the smart device. Here's the description of each project save method. The first project method is the import. You can import all or part of another exported project into your current project. Files that are imported were previously exported from the Velocity console and are stored as .zip files. The second is export. You can export all or parts of your project for backups and or to import into another project. Files when exported are also stored as .zip files. The last method is deployment packages. Deployment packages are files that are stored with the .wl DEP extension and are the files that hold all the project details. These files are delivered to the smart device manually or using an MDM. These functions will be discussed next in detail. You can import an entire project or just certain elements from the Velocity console and integrate them into other projects as needed. When importing a project, you can import the following. Screen captures, keyboards, host profiles, formatting rules, and themes. To start an import, open or create a new project. From the project menu, select import. This will cause the project to be auto-saved before the items are imported, but it is best practice in an existing project to make sure it was already saved. Click on the Browse button and search for, and then open, the zip file that is to be imported. All projects when exported are stored in a .zip format. You will see an Import Project window that shows all the elements that can be imported. From the listing of elements of a project, select those you feel you want to import into the current project. Once they are selected, click on Import and the project is now imported into the existing project. If items within the selected elements were already set in the project, they will be overwritten. If an element was not selected, then there will not be any overwriting of that element. If you select the host profile element, remember to change the host profile name if this will reside on a smart device with the imported project. You can export an entire project or just certain elements from the Velocity console and integrate them into other projects as needed. When exporting a project, you can select the following elements. Screen captures, keyboards, host profiles, formatting rules, themes. To start an export, open the project you would like to save. Click the export button. The project saves and the export project dialog appears. Select what elements of the project you want to export. To export the entire project, select the project option. Click the browse button and specify a file destination. Include the desired file name. Click save. Last, click export. The project exports into your selected destination as a .zip file. You will see a notification on the console that the file was exported successfully. Prior to using a project in the Velocity client, they must first be deployed into a format usable by the smart devices. When a project is deployed, it is stored as a WLDEP file containing all the scripts, images, keyboards, and other resources needed to use a project. To successfully deploy a project, you must first create a host profile. To deploy a project from the Velocity Console, go to the Velocity Console and click Deploy. Click the three dots button to browse for the save location, navigate to the desired location, and enter a file name to save the project. 
Click Save to close the dialog. Click Deploy. The project is deployed as a .wldep file to the specific destination you chose. It can now be distributed to devices manually or using a mobile device management system like Avalanche. If your mobile devices currently use the Velocity client, projects created and edited with Velocity console need to be distributed to the client. Once your project is deployed as a .wldep file, mass distribution can be done using one of the following methods. First, manually via a USB cable. After deploying a project with the Velocity console, you can manually place the file on the SD card or using a connection to the device, any directory for immediate installation on Android devices. This method does require an administrator to touch each and every device. Another option is from the Avalanche console with an Avalanche license. If your devices are managed in Avalanche, you can use the velocity specific payloads to deliver changes directly to your devices for hands-free installation. The last is using another MDM software. If your devices are managed by other MDM software similar to Avalanche, you can create file payloads through alternate services to distribute the WLDEP file containing your project. This compressed file is not specific to Avalanche and can be deployed through any service capable of delivering files to external SD cards or a directory on the smart device. Once installed, the Velocity client will show the new project on the initial host profile screen. Thank you for listening to the Project Deployment Presentation, a module of the Wavelink eLearning training course on Velocity and specifically the Velocity console. You are now ready to move on to the next module. Wavelink is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Landesk Corporation and has offices around the world so there will always be in a convenient office near you. If you would like any more information, please contact your Wavelink sales representative or email us at the address sales at wavelink.com.